FNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny, well, it's really cloudy, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. You can look at all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. It's a sea of green on the left-hand, upper left-hand panel of my uh, chart. The only thing moving lower is the 30-year treasure off 24, 30 seconds. She's trading out of 160.03. Otherwise, you got the Dow up 100 points. 35,918 is the print. The s and is up 8. NASDAQ 125. Russell's the big mover up here, 2.5% to the upside, 59 bucks. It's taking out the top of its uh, very large consolidation out there. Uh, if this is a consolidation breakout, that is suggesting some uh, significant movement to the upside. And today is just an example of that. You've got gold trading up 9 bucks. She's trading at 1793. Silver up 11 pennies, 2406 of the print there. Let's spend a little time with our nine panel market update charts. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. The ES Mini on Friday closed above the top of its TD9 top pattern that suggests and price also closed above the top of its daily profile that suggests higher price we'll take a look at those higher price levels during the trader's ed show so please uh, stay tuned for that but at this stage here as long as price remains above 45.90 that is signaling to you and i price wants to move higher on friday what we saw was the spot volatilics test and reject that 50-day exponential moving average that's an important level to watch that currently is printed at 1807 why is it important if price did close above that that would suggest a retracement pullback inside the s p 500 if we take a look at the nq that also negated its td9 count top a couple days earlier so that suggests price wants to move to the upside price trade above all of its market profiles out there the u.s dollar index it still has a, a roads momentum indicator top that top confirmed on the trading day of october the 13th as long as price remains below that level really conditions right now are more neutral than anything else because price remains above the top of its daily profile goldilocks found support at the bottom of its weekly profile on friday right now price is trading above the top of the daily profile so it looks like it wants to target the resistance there's a couple resistance levels but the key one is going to be 18 15 50. in the case of silver the resistance level that it would like to target is 24.92 price on Friday, pulled back, tested, and rejected the bottom of its daily profile, so support is held. In the case of Light Sweet Crude, she's taking on resistance. That's the other side of the profile, and that is the top. And that resistance level is up at 84.48. Natural gas has pulled back right into the bullish structure profile. So if you're looking to buy natural gas, then this would be the time. 519 is the bottom of that daily profile. Straight out at 520. A close below the bottom of that profile, though, would say, yeah, maybe being long is not the trade. But the back is up against the wall there inside of natural gas with good support. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back with the Traders Intro. Just a